Welcome to e-learning. Today I like to talk about technological issues in e-learning. There are three major issues in technological dimension of e-learning. First one is infrastructure planning. Second one is hardware and third one is software. For the infrastructure planning you need to have a good plan for your e-learning. You have to come up with a goal for your learning and you have to make sure that your goal is very much comparable and aligned with your organizational mission. Now, when you start working on your e-learning plan, you have to find out what are the exist existing materials that have been developed in your organization. Can you reuse them or do you have to develop the new materials? Suppose you're developing new materials, then you have to come up with some kind of policy. Are you going to follow international interoperability standards such as the SCORM, which is shareable content object reference model developed by the Department of Defense in the United States? Then we have here in the United States, we have 508 compliance, which is um, known as ADA, uh, Section 508, American Disability Act. So there are standards that we have to follow. Based on the standards, we can make up a good plan for the content development. So all content materials follow specific standards, rules, and it will give a good look and feel for all learning contents which are developed. And also we need to focus on bandwidth efficiency. As you know, we now are experiencing newer technologies such as virtual reality, game, simulation. These are all exciting, they are good. But you have to find out whether the learners or your employees who will be using this online training, can they use them? Do they have good um, internet connections? Do they really have computers and a memory that uh, support um, uh, materials uh, that supports uh, this kind of uh, new uh, virtual reality and gaming and simulation to run in their computers. So it's all about learning about your learners, what they have, what their capabilities, what their capacities, and at the same time, your plan should really clearly identify uh, what kind of materials you're going to develop under what condition and under what standards. So at the beginning when you're offering online courses, you make sure that you have a, a good uh, support personnel who can help learners to start the new online courses. You have to set them up nicely so that they feel comfortable. Hardware, make sure hardware requirements are specifically identified. You cannot change the new hardware requirement in the middle of a course development or the middle of a course delivery because if you do then students and participants will have a problem. At the same time software, if they need newer software to run the course to review course materials that would not be a very desirable thing for one to uh, impose on students or the participants if you want to use a new technology, new software, you have to identify at the beginning of the course, at the beginning of the training session. So the, what I'm trying to say is basically, you need a good technology plan. You have to think through all different kind of issues that learner or the, your uh, participants will face. Because if you have a good technology plan, they will try to get to your learning materials without any interruption and their computer and their internet connections are you know well suited for the delivery of uh, 
for receiving of the materials that you are going to deliver to the students or the participants. So please make sure you have a good technology plan for your learning and if you get excited with newer technologies that's fine but make sure again those technology that those technologies that you're going to include in the course have a good value for learning and learners and participants have capabilities in their computer to receive them without any interruption thank you